Hey guys, it's me, Turbo. I'm here, and uh, as you can see, I'm back on the good old One Piece Pirates Legend, aka the One Piece Golden Age remake, made by this guy right here. And uh, he's joining me today for what you'd assume. Uh, he gave me Louie all of the abilities <laughs> of all the Devil Fruits, so that should be fun. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through each fruit, see how they do, and see how much Scott has improved them. Some of them still have a few bugs in terms of hitboxing, I believe, but that should be fixed by release. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. First off, we'll start with the good old smooth smooth fruit. You know how it is. The fruit that Louie I never saw anyone ever use, ever. Except for maybe one person. Oh. So I don't know how this fruit works exactly. It just... Oh, you, you just... Oh, and you can't stop moving in one direction. Oh, God. <laughs> just off you go. Here's a question, though. What happens if you take it straight into the water? Does it just stop? Oh! So I found a bug. Okay, so that was the smooth fruit. Yep, it was just as impressive as I remembered it being. <laughs> Alright, off to the next fruit! Alright, next up we have ourselves the Kilo Fruit, and I am going to be using our friend uh, Geo, aka Scott, here to demonstrate it. You ready, Scott? Alright. Here we go. Okay, we need to... Hold on, we need to compare the regular punch with that. Okay, so that was 200-something. Okay, so it's double the damage. Huh! Neat. Alright, next up is Kilo Cannonball. Jesus! Uh oh. Okay, from the looks of it, it's uh, a move that essentially sends you flying, right? So let's try that again. What just happened? Ow! That's what happened! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Alright, well next up is Kilo Lift and Crush. I imagine the longer you hold it down, the more... Devastating it is once you attack, right? Oh no, you just have her up here. Okay. Quick note, uh, I never got to really use these fruits back in the day because I'd always go straight for the gum gum fruit because, you know, I'm a gum gum weeb. Boom! Woo! Oh, and does that do any damage? You have to get a direct hit, don't you? Okay, let's see here. Boom! Alright, so that's all of the kilo 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 no me. Kilo Kilo Fruit, 600 Kilo Crush. Oh, I bet the higher you go, hold on, I need to test this first. Higher you go, the more damage you do, I betcha. Whee! Yep. Alright, next fruit. Did you just call my mother ugly? Shut up! I mean it! I will end you! <laughs> um, cat! Your tail! What about it? Oh, I see! I've chopped it off. Well, that's interesting because... SON OF A BAT! Alright, next up is the good old chop chop fruit of our good old buggy pirates. Go ahead and slash me with the sword. Do it! Oh. I'm gonna punch you anyway. <laughs> chop chop fist. Go! Alright, and... Separate. Oh, damn! That's actually a really strong move. And it probably, I wonder how far it goes, as soon as the cooldown, cooldown's over. It doesn't go that far, but it does a lot of damage. Alright, chop chop quick escape! <laughs> I'd imagine it works kind of like how the uh, gum gum balloon works in that, like, for a little bit you're just kind of immune to things, right? Alright, I'm gonna use chop chop escape, you guys attack me, see what happens. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, chop chop to escape! Ow. Okay, this isn't working. It actually lowers the damage you get. Okay, you're doing 400. Punch me regularly. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Okay, well, I guess there's something that we know about. Uh, anyway, now for a real strong move. Whee! Right, let's try that again. There we go. Holding it down. Okay, never mind. 
Anyway, that was the Chop Chop Fruit. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, better than the other two, I'd have to say, honestly. Uh, off to the next one. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Alright, next up is the Plume Plume Fruit, also known as the Smoke Smoke Fruit, or uh, just whatever. You know, you know our favorite Marine Boy. Uh, and, of course, the first move is very much like Chop Chop. Whee! Except everything's all smoky. Uh, I don't know, I don't think uh, Scott has put in the Logia effect, considering he hasn't put in the Chop Chop effect yet. I did put it, but since it, I gave you the skills... Okay, yes, yeah, since I... Uh, okay. Okay, but since he gave me all the skills at once, I don't have the Logia effect. <laughs> Alright, next up is Whiteout. That's right, this was, this was essentially just Gum Gum Bazooka. Except, like, it has lingering damage. That's right, Plume Plume was really just a really strong fruit. Like, it was the fruit that everyone had. Oh yeah, that's right, you can fly! Forgot about this move. It's actually really nice. Whee! Takes a lot of stamina, though. <laughs> Alright, next up, White Vanish. Whoa! Oh, is it like a teleport ability? Okay. Let's see what the limits of this are. All right, let's try that again. All right, let's see. White, vanish. Okay, you can only teleport so far. I'd imagine that the higher your stats are, the further you can teleport. And now for the move that I would see literally all the dang time. White hammer! Let's go! I missed! Shit. Let's try that again. There we go. White. Hammer! Ba-boom! Yes. I, I would see so many people just... Just... Just two Plum Plum users is the most inter fun... Just the funniest thing to see happen. Because it's just continuous... Uh, just... Bam, 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 bam. Anyway, next fruit! Alright, time for the the coolest fruit, the one that literally everyone loves. Uh, the explosive fruit, the bomb bomb. First off, there's things first, time to die. Bam. It really is a really strong fruit. Gotta admit. Just, you just detonate things, and it's pretty fast. Alright, time to explode out of here. Woo! It's really, just a good, it's just a real solid fruit. I think it's supposed to Emperor have long cooldown. Yep. Alright. Well, it's time to do this. Charge this sucker up. Woo! I just had enough! How much damage did that do? <laughs> Alright, now for uh, something I've only seen a clip of, because I don't remember this ability. The explosive swipe! That really is just pure... Cr this fruit is just pure crowd control. <laughs> It just destroys everything in its path. Now, for this one... Wait until you see the final move. Explosive Emperor. That immediately makes me think of Flame Emperor. And immediately makes me think I'm just gonna hold up a giant cartoonish bomb and toss it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Oh! Well... I was close! Oh, that does a lot of damage. Final move works like a god. It apparently takes a lot of stamina like a god. Jesus! <laughs> From the looks of it, you like get a whole bunch of it like generated in your mouth, and you then you throw it. Huh? Neat. Next round. What's it? And last but not least, my favorite fruit, simply because I'm a I'm a Luffy weeb, I, as, as you may know from literally every other thing that I do. Uh, and let's start off with the old legendary gum gum pistol, uh, die. Boom. 300 damage, that's a lot of damage. And of course, you the more you charge it up, the more damage it does. It's generally just a nice little move. Next up is gum gum bazooka. If I, if I remember correctly, that might be knockback, right? No. But it does do double the damage. Which is really, really nice. 
All right, next up is Gum Gum Rocket. Something die. Whee! And anything you hit while uh, either landing or flinging around with Gum Gum Rocket, it does do damage. You're gonna you're gonna be my test dummy. 480 damage, and you get an escape. All out a pretty good move. All right, next up, Gum Gum Balloon. Which, if I remember, as long as it doesn't hit your actual body, it'll ricochet literally any attack. Yep. Just does no damage, and I'm pretty sure it bounces off bullets even easy, like, in a, whenever you get shot as the Gum Gum user, bullets go straight back to the user, I'm pretty sure. Shoot me. Actually, wait, that probably won't work, but shoot me anyway. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Alright, next up is, of course, the Gum Gum Gatling, which was pretty damn strong. Uh, I'm gonna kill you all, if that's okay. God, it does, like, over a thousand damage, and I, d and I only have a stat of, like, 66 on melee. Strong fruit. Strong fruit indeed. Also, something you may have noticed is that there is now a Devil Fruit stat. I'm going to go ahead and do that before doing gear second. Uh, if I remember correctly, Scott said that the Devil Fruit stat is essentially to replace the having to have melee or blade or any of those types of things to unlock skills, but instead, instead of just knowing all the skills right off the bat, you have to earn them through using your Devil Fruit. Which I find interesting and does make sense in terms of because you're not going to be like know exactly how to work your fruit as soon as you get it. Alright, last but not least, we have gear second. Take a jet pistol. That does the exact same damage. But man, am I fast. Woo! <laughs> God. Come on, jet. Bazooka! Oh, that time it did. Doesn't boost damage right now, but it will in the future! And I'd imagine that there might be like a slight cosmetic change to certain attacks that make it more jet pistol y. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that is all the fruits. Also with Buso. That's right, there's gonna be alterations to attacks based on hockey. That will be super fun. So, that was all the double fruits that are in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me if you want more. Link in description to both the Discord for this game and the game link. And I will see you guys in the next video. Check out the check out the game. Bye.